Hey YouTubers, I've had a couple requests to um, to go over my um, Xantrex power unit and the extension batteries that I uh, installed. And um, I was actually asked for a blueprint, but I don't have anything like that. I just sort of winged it. <laughs> but uh, I can go over basically how I wired the extension batteries onto the uh, unit. And then... Um, then I've got to get out of here because i got some things to do today. <laughs> so, let's uh, go over it. The base unit is that big plastic thing down on the bottom. It's a Xantrex, Xantrex Power 1500. And it has a couple of batteries of this same size here <clears throat> inside the, uh, the unit. And um, it also has an inverter. And then it has a charger, which I have installed onto the back of this pegboard. Now, uh, when it came to uh, adding extension batteries, um, it was pretty cool because I, I just bought two and I stuck them down on this tray. And the shape of the box <clears throat> is like a perfect battery tray. They sat there just fine. And then I ended up getting two more. And then I wanted something to hold the batteries more securely to keep them from flopping around. So I constructed this uh, battery tray out of plywood, threw a coat of paint on, then I used wire ties, or zip ties, right here to, uh, to support, I mean, to hold the uh, batteries down. So if these batteries are going to fall anywhere, they're going to fall as a unit. <laughs> and then <clears throat> I went ahead and wired all of the positives together. Uh, when it, all of these batteries, they, the, the, the system has to be 12 volts. And if you wire it any other way, it could be like 24 or 36, and then you'll blow everything up. <laughs> you don't want that. So to uh, hook all of your batteries up in parallel, the uh, rule is um, only hook positive uh, sides of the batteries two other positive sides. Don't ever po hook positive to negative, um, where you would then be hooking in series and then you'd be getting twice as much voltage. Bad idea. So, um, what I really should have done is I should have used a heavier gauge wire, and I plan to redo this because um, even though I, you know, even though I was, uh, I was using the vacuum cleaner and the uh, and the wheat grinder yesterday, uh, it was working really well, but these batteries, these cables here got a bit warm, and I really should use the next size up. These are, uh, I think these are, these right here are 14 gauge wires, and I think 14 gauge would be okay, but some of these areas here I ended up using 16 gauge wire, because it, it was just junk wire out of my toolbox at work. But anyway, uh, so when I redo them, I'll use 14-gauge uh, wire. Now, I ran all the positives on the uh, extension batteries, connected them all together, and hooked them up to this fuse box, which I bought at Napa Auto. And then I threw a couple of 25-amp fuses into this fuse block, and then off the uh, side of the uh, fuse block here, I... Uh, <coughs> I hooked these two wires, which go into this quick disconnector, um, and then that, the uh, quick disconnector here, it goes to both the positive and the negative on the sides down here. So the positive comes down here to another 25 amp fuse, and the purpose of the 25 amp fuse uh, and the fuse block up there is that if there is a short to ground or it like shorts out or something um, and it blew one fuse right like this one then if it was just if it didn't have this other fuse block here um, <clears throat> then it could easily uh, then this these this battery here would also be shorted out and then if you're going then you would get an electrical fire bad bad idea but anyway these two uh, 25 amp fuses and this fuse down here take care of that problem and then of course it goes down to these little screw on battery connector devices here and I used a ring ring eye terminal as you can see like so 
and as I said, I, I plan to upgrade the uh, upgrade the wiring on this thing. I mean, I used a chain an electric chainsaw just fine. Whoops, my alarm clock's ringing. It's time to wake up. <laughs> Pardon the mess. I wasn't expecting guests. Okay. So, then, once I, I had this all hooked up, I thought I'd go a little bit more uh, intense, and I, would, I went ahead and got some pegboard and cut it down, and then, because uh, it's already got all these holes, and I could use wire ties to secure the, uh, the charger to the pegboard, and wire ties to secure the pegboard to the handle of this uh, unit. Then I went ahead and threw a power strip in and secured that with wire ties, as you can see. And then it's the simplest thing in the world to fire it up and plug multiple appliances in here, and you're going. If I use, and I plan on getting some 14 gauge wire, and I'll redo this electrical side here, but then when, that, when that's all together, I think this thing will be ready for time, prime time. And I also have some solar panels and a charge controller <clears throat> that I can uh, throw outside when, uh, when it's, if like the power grid goes down or something. Plus I have a little black max generator and it's, uh, and I could like uh, run that or I could take that little, elect that little uh, gasoline scooter of mine and then uh, set it out on the deck over there. And then fire that thing up, and uh, I could easily rig, rig a little throttle advance uh, to then bump the throttle up, and I could use the scooter as a generator, <laughs> and it would be a little bit quieter than the uh, than the uh, actual generator generator. <clears throat> well, that is the Xantrex 1500 and the additions that I've made to it. If you have any questions, go ahead and stick them in the comments. And I'll do the best I can. Um, later.